We're following the unrest this weekend in cities across the country. And we'll go now to Columbus, Ohio, where Representative Joyce Beatty is. Congresswoman, good morning. Good morning. You marched yesterday, uh, and you were pepper sprayed. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I participated in the march yesterday because I thought it was important for me to stand in solidarity with the peaceful protesters who were standing up against the injustices that we all have been feeling, uh, not just uh, for the last 78 hours, but it has certainly been a collection of emotion. And I can tell you for the first hour and a half or 40 minutes of a two-hour uh, protest, it was very peaceful. But it appeared that something went awry in just seconds. And it started with whatever the, uh, after police were deployed uh, there, uh, not sure why, but when one gentleman, there was some type of altercation, and you know how it goes, when one Mm -hmm. person is flipped over on the ground, and you're standing there on the edge, people start pushing and shoving, and as one young lady uh, had an altercation with the police, you know, I found myself saying, no, this is wrong, let's not excite the crowd, because it was almost over, and it had sent a strong message, but after that, for some reason, pepper spray uh, was pulled out, uh, in the face of a young sister uh, next to me, and you know as Pepper Stewart goes, or now at least I know, um, it doesn't have any uh, direction uh, after its release. So it was not a direct spray. Representative, um, I have to ask you, NPR has reported that military police are planning to deploy from places like Fort Bragg and Fort Drum. Do you have any concerns about using the U.S. Armed Forces right now, considering some of the scenes we've seen um, with uh, the reaction by the police? Uh, I think we have to... I think it's twofold, uh, and maybe even a parallel track. Uh, I think we have to protect our communities. Uh, I don't think that uh, destruction is helpful. I think it's a distraction to the message. And so, unfortunately, when uh, buildings and businesses, hardworking Americans' businesses are uh, being burnt up, there is a historic uh, outreach to call in the national. National Guard, but I also know you can call in the National Guard with clear destruct- instructions that you are there to protect the buildings and, and not to excite and engage in rioting, because that's not going to help anything in history has taught us that. So I I think we have to figure out how we all come together and have a healthy dialogue. And I know that sounds like we've done that before and it doesn't work, but violence doesn't work. Violence either way. That's what got us into this, injustices. So we have to somehow make sure that we get the word out that you cannot come in and tear up buildings. They're just buildings, but when you break windows and destroy businesses and people get hurt, that's not going to resolve the problem of why George Floyd died. And and that was another reason I wanted to be there, uh, to be that voice and to stand with so many of those individuals who were there and who did the right thing. That's Joyce Beatty. She's a Democrat who represents Ohio in the U.S. House. Congresswoman, thank you very much.